of the things uh, I really like about Jalen Hurts is that from everyone I've talked to, he is that guy. Like, I think actually the Kobe Dean actually, I think summed this up in his episode of sky drive. Stay tuned um, about guys that are leaders. I remember Donovan McNabb coming out and saying, you know, I'm the leader of this team. I got to do whatever it is, you know, whatever it takes to win and be the leader of this team. I'm the leader of this team. And I remember after that, he, he received a lot of like backlash uh, because you should never say you're the leader. People should just know you're the leader. And I actually think the Kobe Dean summed this up really well. He said he didn't look to lead. He just happens to lead. It's almost like true leaders do what they do and they turn around and all of a sudden there's people behind them. It's like you don't seek out leading. If you're in a group of people and the group of people are more uh, betas and there's no alphas and you're an alpha, then oftentimes you're just going to all of a sudden turn around and be like, oh, look at all these people following me. I guess I'm the leader. That happened. Okay. And I think Jalen Hurts has a lot of that in him. I think he's not a guy that looks to put himself in front of anybody in terms of leading, not in terms of being better than anybody or looking down on anybody else or anything like that. But I think he's the type of guy that just wants to, he wants to do that, but he's not going to push his way to the top. If he turns around and there's a team behind him, all right, good. I'm fine. I'm, if I'm Jalen Hurts, I'm fine. I'm comfortable with that. I can be the guy. I have no problem with that. And I think that's what he's doing with the Philadelphia Eagles. And that's what he needs to do. He's a quarterback in the NFL. Guys are going to look to him to be a leader. He's the guy that they're going to be looking at in the huddle. He's the guy that in that dramatic scene in the fourth quarter, when they're in the huddle and he's got the play and he's, he's calling it in. He's telling everyone what the play is. They want to look in his eyes and see confidence. And they want to be able to get behind that. They want to be able to get behind him the way they get behind Jason Kelsey. That's going to, that's the way it's going to go down one day. They're going to look to him to be the undisputed leader of this team. I think when you talk about offense, I think Jason Kelsey is that guy. I think eventually that will be Jalen Hurts. Because if you're really looking at, yes, they're all the captains right there. We just rattled off to you. But when you really think about it, the defense has a leader and the offense has a leader. Offensively, I don't think anybody outranks Jason Kelsey. Defensively, I don't think anybody outranks uh, Brandon Graham. That's the guy that I look at on this defense and I see as the absolute leader on this team. And I know last year missed a heck of a lot of team a time, almost the entire season with injury. But this year, he's going to have that C on his jersey. And I think that's the guy a lot of people will look to as a leader of this defense. I think that's who they've been looking at as the leader of this defense for a long time.